Hey, how's it going Vikings? It's Bear of Curses here and today I want to show you a build that I just completed and I'm calling it the Abandoned Wagon House. Now this is uh, an idea that I had while looking at um, gatehouses. If you guys have ever seen gatehouses, which I'll probably try to build one of those um, at some point, but I wanted to do something new and the wagon house is something that I came up with and I thought it'd be cool to share so let's get into it uh, now I d did build this um, house in creative mode which I've been doing a lot of practicing and building in creative mode um, I would recommend building it in the dev commands mode or debug mode for anybody that is trying to get better at building uh, it's a really good way to practice certain things that you want to do and just kind of get better at just uh, building more abstract uh, styles in Valheim. So this is the abandoned wagon and the reason why I call it the abandoned wagon is uh, I made it kind of look like the wagon was dropped off here with these you know kind of like wagon trail marks and then um, you know the wheels might have fallen off now the axles are kind of sitting on these uh, stones here. I stacked these stone walls the one by ones Kind of in an odd formation make it just a little bit more detailed there we go now that is fixed one of the coolest parts of this build i think is the upper deck where you can sit i just built these little stairs here to get up here and uh just kind of like a you know if you're gonna sit and something was pulling you here maybe a troll or something i put these little one by one walls here these little beams and then just a bench and one of these red carpets. And you can just sit here and kind of pretend like you're getting carried along a path or something, I don't know. Yeah, these stairs are kind of just makeshift, but I don't know, to me these kind of little details like this that are just kind of strung together um, add, add a little bit of, you know, liveliness to a build. And you got some storage outside. One of the things I really like about this build is, you know, this little shelf right here on the outside of the wagon and how there's just little details on the outside like that. And then I'll hop inside and I'll show you the inside. So we got a, the fireplace in here, which since the, the wagon was abandoned, you know, Viking came here and, uh, you know, he built onto it like it was part of the land. So he put stairs and raised the land in the back for the fireplace you know made it a real home and there's a little bed up here and a crafting table up here some more storage but really you could do a lot more with the inside of this it's one thing that i'm still trying to work on in valheim is decorating and uh, getting better at building the interior oh yeah so here is what the wagon looks like at nighttime you can see the uh, lights at the top here and the uh, little mushroom kind of lights that we got going on here, which I really like that design. And then the potions kind of glow too, but there's just kind of a nice cozy glow to this place. And if we go inside too, the fire is glowing and <clears throat> yeah, it just looks pretty cool. There's a lot more that you could do with the lighting, but I didn't <clears throat> really want to go overboard with it just because I think that it's kind of more subtle, like the more subtle lighting kind of looks better. Yeah, anyway, that is the abandoned wagon build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it maybe gave you a, a couple build ideas of something that you want to try that's more of an unconventional build in Valheim. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. And if you want to stick around, please hit subscribe. I got uh, some bigger videos in the works here. I'm trying to um, do something with the edge of the map, like where the big waterfall is. That is gonna be a bigger project. It's gonna take me a while to get it done. But in the meantime, I'm doing these kind of smaller builds here and just enjoying the game. And I'd love for you guys to stick around. So uh, I will see you next time.